Today we're going to discuss pond de-icers. As you can see by the one I'm holding in my hand, this one is a floating device. It has a heating element inside, but can also be uh, taken apart and be used as a submersible. They're thermostatically controlled to kick on in weather that's 32 degrees or below. Anytime it's above 32 degrees, your pond de-icer will not activate. Pond de-icers range from 100 to 1500 watts, and despite what you read on the pond de-icer box, a 250 watt pond de-icer will work just fine. That should keep a nice hole in the ice and keep your electric bill low. The key purpose is to prevent fish from dying in the winter. Fish do not die from the cold, they die to lack of oxygen and increasing toxic gases building up under the ice. Fish don't use much oxygen in the winter. If you don't have a de-icer or your de-icer stops working, just heat a tea kettle of water to boiling and pour onto the ice to melt a small hole so that the toxic gases can escape. Make sure you put your pond de-icer in your pond and plug it in during a thaw when the water is unfrozen. If you wait to plug it in after the pond is frozen, you may damage the unit. You might ask why nobody puts a pond de-icer in a lake, and those fish survive. The volume and depth of those waters are very different than our small ponds. 